Chapter 3, Mishnah 1. The first Mishnah of this chapter teaches how long it takes to establish a chazaka on various types of property. If someone wishes to establish a chazaka on houses, pits, ditches, long narrow pits, vaults, squared roof pits, dovecotes, bathhouses, olive presses, irrigated fields, slaves, or any other property that produces constantly, the law is that their chazaka is established through three full years of uncontested use, from the first day of the first year to the last day of the third year. The occupier of the property establishes a chazaka to any of these properties by using the property for three full consecutive years, for example, if he lived in a house for three years. Regarding a rain-watered field, the law is that its chazaka is also established through three years of uncontested use, but they need not be full years from the first day of year one to the last day of year three. The Mishnah cites a dispute regarding how the years of usage of a rain-watered field must take place. Rabbi Ishmael says one must use the field for three months of the first year and three months of the last year and the full 12 months of the middle year for a total of 18 months. Rabbi Ishmael holds that since a crop such as barley or lentils can be produced once a year in as little as three months, if a person purchases a field near the end of a year, produces a crop in three months, then uses the field for the next full year and produces a regular crop, and again produces a three-month crop in the beginning of the third year, he has used the field to produce three crops as an owner would, and he has established a chazaka if no protest against his occupation was made. Rabbi Akiva, however, says it is enough for him to use it for one month of the first year and one month of the last year, and the full 12 months of the middle year, for a total of 14 months. Rabbi Akiva holds that since a field can be used to produce a crop, such as vegetables or unripe grain, which is harvested and used as animal fodder, in as little as a month, one can establish a three-crop chazaka in 14 months by producing a one-month crop, then a regular crop, then another one-month crop. The Mishnah explains that in some cases, a chazaka can be established in an even shorter time. Rabbi Ishmael said, when were these words stated? That is, when does Rabbi Ishmael state that it requires 18 months to establish a chazaka with respect to the chazaka of a rain-watered field, whose produce is gathered all at one time? But in the case of an orchard containing various types of trees and vines, if he gathered his grapes and then gathered his olives and then took his figs, this is the equivalent of three years, and he has established a chazaka in a single year.